the serpent won. God had made a promise that someone would come to crush the head of the serpent, and God chose a special people that this deliverer would come from. And the serpent said to himself, as long as I can keep them in chains, God can't keep his promise. And so the Israelites were chained. They were slaves in Egypt. But God always keeps his promises. He sent a deliverer named Moses and his brother Aaron to go to the king of Egypt and say, Let my people go. And yes, God would work wonders in Egypt, but it began here with a declaration of war against the serpent. You see, the king of Egypt had magicians, and they took staves and threw them down, and they became serpents. But at God's command, Aaron took his staff, and it became a serpent too, and ate up those magician serpents. God said, Serpent, I am here to destroy you. I am here to set my people free. And the story didn't end there. You see, God didn't come just to free his people from slavery to Egypt, but to free us from slavery to the serpent, slavery to Satan. He wasn't done yet, but he would come soon.